I am Dr. Malathi Ramesh. I am a family physician. I practice in HSA BDA Complex, Bangalore. The most common cause of fever in our day-to-day -day practice is viral cause. Viral cause is almost in the fever, almost near 90% of the fever are caused by viral. And second thing is drug reactions. Suppose the patient has taken a, like sulfur drugs, penicillin, which we don't use normally now. Only a few uh, cases need penicillin and or any other drug can cause a rash. So it is very essential for the patient to share the medical history or you know, tell the uh, doctor what they are on. They're taking the medicine history with the doctor. So it helps the doctor to arrive a conclusion at the earliest. And third is the bacterial cause. And in the viral, the most commonest are uh, measles, rubella, chicken pox, and dengue. Dengue fever rash comes almost when the patient is recovering, the rash appears. All the other rashes appears little earlier. In chicken pox, the rash appears after two, three days. And that is like, you know, they are very highly infectious when the rash appears two days before or uh, till the scab falls they are very highly contagious so it is advisable to avoid in contact with those infected persons and uh, severe headaches any fever can cause headaches but if the headaches come along with severe vomiting one has to uh, check with the doctor and rule out the meningococcal infection and the bacterial in the causes or commonest typhoid is the most commonest. Now the typhoid vaccines also available. One can take the typhoid vaccines to avoid the uh, typhoid infections. And uh, other things, brucellosis, scarlet fever also causes rashes. Usually patients ask how to avoid this. It's very difficult to avoid because we contact uh, people in day-to-day -day life and we touch and the infected materials it's also spreads through droplet and uh, body fluids and so on so hand washing frequent hand washing will really help in one and another question regarding the diet of like when they have fever as to what to take so what usually I give advice is to have lots of fluids soups and Adequate nutritive foods are very essential when they are undergoing fever or any illness.